Do you have, in your experience, any situation when a study struggled with uh, keeping the patients with, in, in, like inside of a study? I encountered uh, several of those trials where the uh, outcome of the trial was the main efficacy criterion. Outcome could be, for instance, a cardiovascular event such as myocardial infarction, a stroke, or any other cardiovascular event. Now, I recall a study where we um, enrolled about 13,000 patients, and over time, uh, of those 13,000 patients, about 3,500 either revoked their informed consent for unknown reasons, they were lost to follow up, or they just uh, withdrew from the study. How many amendments were in this study? Do you remember? Yeah, the, the study did not have too many amendments. However, uh, you, know, you need to keep in mind that an outcome study is a long-term trial. So patients stay on that study for three years, four years, five years, as, as long as the study runs until the sponsor says, you know, I have enough events to run my statistical analysis. And, you know, for patients this is a burden. Um, and if they do not see right away the benefit of A, taking the drug, and B, living a little longer, then patients, you know, just decide to, to leave the study. In, in a four or five year period, patients may also move from one city to the other, change their doctors, and therefore are lost to follow up and nobody knows what happened.